Hey! So are you looking for a cream cheese icing that's super easy to make and isn't cloyingly sweet? This is the recipe for you. Super easy to do. Here's how I made it. So you start out in a mixing bowl with some butter and cream cheese and you should have both of these at room temperature because you're going to beat that together and whip it and make it light and airy. You could do it in a stand mixer, you can do it in a bowl with a hand mixer like I'm doing. You could use a wooden spoon if that's all you've got. Once you've got it light and airy, you start spooning in icing sugar. Um, some people call this confectioner sugar. Whatever you call it, you just spoon it in slowly and beat it in. Um, if you try to beat it in too quickly, it will go everywhere. I'm going to give you a range of how much icing sugar to put in, but really what it comes down to is how sweet you want it to be. So taste it and stop putting in the icing sugar when you reach sort of your level of sweetness. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe now and smash that notification bell so you find out about our new videos as soon as they come out. Once you've got it whipped together, um, you can put this in the fridge uh, and keep it in the fridge covered for a couple of days until you need to use it. Just take it out of the fridge for about an hour before you start to put it on your cake. And that's it, really simple. And the beauty of this recipe is you could change this flavor by adding a little bit of, of vanilla, some pure vanilla extract. You could put lemon extract in, almond extract. I mean, any extract that you put in will just add some flavor and the flavor can match that of your cake. So if you're doing a spice cake, put in a little bit of the spices that you used in the cake. Um, it's really versatile, it's really easy. And it tastes fantastic. Thanks for stopping by, see you again soon.